Morning Blender Blades, episode 159, back at work for another rigorous day of prep for this inspection. Uh, I'll be here a while, and then, uh, I mean, we might talk about Myrtle Beach, I can't guarantee it, but all right, let's see how the day goes. Hi, Dylan. All done with work, thank God. Oh, yeah, there's clothes in the middle of the road. There's clothes in the middle of the road. Are they yours? Why are your clothes in the road, Dylan? I got naked in the road. Yeah, sweet. It's weird. I have crawled around in my hands and knees for like 10 straight days. My knees were already kind of iffy. Um, I feel rough. I am just sore and achy everywhere. When we used to have these inspections when I was younger, like um, I'd work 70, 80 hours a week getting ready for these inspections and getting things cleaned. And as you get older, you really start to learn about delegation and how to use it properly because I have done nowhere near as much as I used to do 10 years ago for one of these things, like me personally. And I am still beat down. Like, do you remember uh, is that James Conn? James, I think it's James Conn in uh, Misery uh, with Kathy Bates where she hobbles him. I feel like that. If they caught them, they had to make sure they could go on working, but they also had to make sure they could never run away. The operation was called hobbling. Baby. Almost done. Just one more. That was practice. Great. It's cool. Did you win? It's a practice. Oh. If you try hard enough, you can win at practice. Yeah, there's a life lesson. The harder you try, the more you win. And the more you win, the more you're successful. And the more you're successful, the better your chances are of being a doctor the better your chances are of being a lawyer. I still want to be homeless. The better, <laughs> the, better, <laughs> the better your chances are of not looking like a complete fool like Donald Trump did in the debate last night. Oh my still God. recording because you like put, put your phone down? Yeah, I, I really was. I really was still recording. But anyway, if he said he was a businessman one more time. Or he has a lot of money. Or he he's how much money they had. Or they or he's proud of himself. No, he didn't. He's he will not release his taxes. I'm so proud he, of myself. Quote unquote, he said he won't release his taxes until he releases the thirty three thousand emails. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, but he's the only president that has you win. Been. I don't know. <laughs> Where'd you come in for Geneva? I don't know. Oh, well, you usually know where you. Well, I don't know this time. I gotta go. Bye, I love Bye. you. One of my biggest vlogging frustrations is that I did not start two weeks sooner. Two weeks before I started vlogging, I had this big, massive plan. I was like, we need to go on a family vacation. I don't care where we go. Amanda gave me this budget. I came in under the budget for the most part. And we went and did all these activities in Myrtle Beach. It was so awesome. And we have photos. Here they are. We had a super nice hotel. It was like a condo. Yeah. It had like a hot tub in it or whatever, the jacuzzi tub. Yeah, it was nice. They had an indoor pool. They had a lazy river. They didn't have a bar. It was weird. Yeah, that was weird. That's the one thing that... Well, they did, but it's closed. Yeah. Well, because it was right before. 
but a photo, a photo only captures so much. Like that's why I love the vlog so much because it it pulls everything in, the reality of what's happening. You can see the smiles taking shape. You can hear the laughter. You can see just see the actual emotion in someone's eyes when it's just a still snapshot. That's it. That's all it is. It's just a snapshot of what was going on. With the vlog, it's it's everything. Everything except for pretty much like the smell and taste. That's my biggest vlogging frustration. Why I missed that, why I didn't start two weeks earlier. Plus I could have had a really good week of vlogging. That would have been impressive. I've been told I don't actually have to shop in Walmart. We just have to get subs. Oh God, they're just gonna get rid of it. Six. We're not gonna talk again. Why are you always yelling at him? Because you never listen. Yeah. Him? Um, we need to Did you already do Fiji once? I don't know. So pretty. This is one of our guilty pleasures, watching Survivor. Yeah, it's like the only TV that we watch besides that bedtime up in my room. I love Survivor. I've watched Survivor since the first season. This is like the 78th season. I don't want you to take any of the political views that were expressed in this episode seriously. Uh, that was a 14-year-old expressing them. And me and Amanda, who don't know a ton about politics... Um, so, so these are your own views. Go out and vote on November 8th with your own views. But, make sure you vote. but you should vote. I think people should vote. But don't vote for Hillary. Don't vote for Trump. Don't vote for Trump. <laughs> I, <sighs> vote for anybody else. What do you think, Socks? Vote for Socks. Hillary. I don't have a stance. <laughs>changing it because he's like I'll say move ha 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 you guys are so hilarious <laughs> thanks this has been the worst joke of the day ever performed but I'm leaving it in the vlog uh, what's today Tuesday is today Tuesday 27 3 8 8 more days 8 more days until this inspection typically I don't want inspections to come I can't wait for this to be over. I am so beat down physically and stressed. And look at poor Amanda over there doing her nails. She's filled with stress, and I feel bad for her. I'm filled with stress, too. And so, look, poor Dylan is so tense. and so. Ah! I need it to be eight days from now. So, hit the puree button. And keep on blending and blend the blades. Cam drop. My name is Jeff. <laughs> the uh...